Breadwinner is directed by Nora Tuomi and it tells the story of a young girl in Afghanistan who lives under the unfortunate Taliban rule. We see many unfortunate realities happening in this film that the film doesn't shy away but it is an animated movie suitable for kids. So it's realistically violent enough but also not too graphic. And once an injustice is committed against this young girl's family, she finds a way to provide for her family by disguising herself as a boy. She cuts her hair, she goes to the same place her father used to make his sales, and she starts making sales of her own. This movie is beautifully animated with some very good and drawn animation that is now very rare, unfortunate nowadays. The visual storytelling of this film alone reminded me very much of The Red Turtle last year or two years ago if you saw it in 2016 as I did. But this film is better than that. Not too much. This is a very heartfelt story about perseverance, strengths, bravery and about the power of telling stories and about the power of curiosity and about kindness. How spreading kindness is more powerful than spreading hate. But the film is not preachy about it because as I said, it doesn't shy away from showing unfortunate realities of living in this country where this girl is living under the regime that she is living in. Many things happen in this movie like seeing women getting harassed and beaten and whipped and children as well, as well as we see kind of the side of some of the younger folk that are on the side of the Taliban, why they are on that side, why they are so angry, much like we see many times in bullies in film and TV, and we see after a while their side, why they are so angry, why they beat on the little kids, and I think the movie does a good job at balancing that out, not being preachy, not being too forgiving of the Taliban, but showing truly the power of kindness. But there are a couple of issues with the film. There's a relationship that the girl strikes with this one man, and although it is very compelling, it felt kind of a short payoff to such a good build-up. Also throughout the film, the girl is telling a story to her young brother, which her father used to tell her. I couldn't help but feel that that story was much more interesting to watch unfold than the story we were actually watching. This was a fascinating story with great themes and a great message and it actually impacted me even more than the one story about the girl. So I can't say this is a great movie but it does have a good story, it does have good characters and I like how they approached the setting. It's an unfortunate setting but it's a real setting and you believe it's a real setting even though this is an animated movie that is suitable for kids. The breadwinner apart from the animation is not a standout in terms of story but it's a damn fine one absolutely recommendable and that is why I will give it a martini. It is a good time anytime. What did you think of The Breadwinner, my beautiful geekies? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite animated movie that is nominated for the best animated picture besides Coco because I bet that will be the majority of the answers. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. Tomorrow I have reviews for Red Sparrow and for Mute coming out on Netflix and I can't wait to bring you those. I'm uber excited for both those films and next week many other reviews coming as well. Thank you so much once more, and so until tomorrow, you stay beautiful, you stay geeky, and if you haven't done so yet, click the subscribe button and the bell so you can be geeky. United!